Let's explore a few options when it comes to saving your files. Aurora offers many different methods. To start, let's merge an image together. Here we go. I'll choose Open. The images are loaded, and I'll select Auto Alignment, and choose the option to remove some of the chromatic aberration because of the high contrast scene, and create the HDR. Now, once the files are properly loaded, we can easily capture this as a native file. That looks good. Let's just switch here to our presets or our looks, and I'll choose Golden Hour. I like that. And we'll further recover our highlights slightly and emphasize Smart Tone. It looks good. One of the benefits of the native file format is that you can actually add additional layers. So if I add a new image layer and select something like a texture, it's automatically added. Now we could blend that in gently, giving us the feeling a little bit more of a painting. And let's just recover this exposure a little more. Pull down the shadows slightly. There we go. I like that. Now, when I choose File Save, I've got some options. In this case, what I'm going to do is make sure to save the original resources. This is going to bundle up the texture and the original brackets inside the file. We can go ahead and remove the extension TIFF from this, and it's going to take the name of the first bracket. Let's call this Windmill and save it to the desktop. You get an idea here on the file size as you're working. Windows Compatible is going to be an option here. So if you're only working on a Mac, you can uncheck this, and it gives you the ability to not store the original files inside, which makes a really small project file, but has a dependency, and you should put it in the same folder with all of the sources. I generally find, though, that Windows Compatible is a good option, gives you flexibility in the future, and automatically creates a backup of everything inside. Additionally, the Save History option will slightly increase the file size, but minuscule amounts, and gives you flexibility. So when we click Save, what's now been stored is the ability to see all of the source files, including the brackets and the texture, and that the file history, available from the upper menu here, is also stored with the document itself. Now in the future, if ever needed, you can click on History and see all of the steps that you did and if needed, jump back and take a look at earlier versions and see. For example, what did it look like there versus there or that version, giving me infinite flexibility.